Oh, me. I'm not going anywhere on vacation. <laughs> he was very sad and depressed. Hey, where are you going, Charlie? Asked his best friend, Penny the Shark. I don't think we're going anywhere this year, Charlie said as he twitched his mouth. The school bell rang, the school bell rang and class was dismissed. Okay, see you later, Finny. Yeah, said Charlie. What? Charlie did... See you later, said Charlie. What? Charlie did flipper thin sign language to say he would see you later. <gasps> oh, oh my god, said Finny as he flipper flipper sign language back to say later. Oh, <laughs> you're the best friend ever. So Charlie sent home and passed Harriet, a queen parrot fish. Charlie laid and her parrot looked distressed from the loud drilling sounds and covered her ears with her fin paws. Oh, oh gosh, this noise. Clang, clang, bang, bang. Charlie swam and passed Doc Harper, a sea turtle who had his ear plugged in. Charlie waved and Doc Harper waved his turtle paws and looked in pain with each drill sound. Buzz, bam, bam, bam. Charlie came home with every in the house had ants like that. Hyrule oh and Kato, his adopted octopus brothers, and baby Teal all had eight of eight of their legs over their ears. Mr. Mr. Belcorn's oil company is going to be drilling for months, and my nerves are shot, said Charlie's mom, Clara. Um, and their dad, octopus. Uh, Daxter, her husband. Ah, oh, bang, bang, bang. One of my legs are about to pop off from all the noise. What are we going to do, Baxter? Said Clara to her husband, Baxter the baker. Baxter was stirring cake batter to get ready to pour into the cake pan. Baxter put the batter in the cake pan and was about to put the batter in the oven when the drilling noise was so loud, kaboom, boom, boom, that Baxter dropped the cake batter. Plop, 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 bang, bang, crash, 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 boom. That is it. Oh, I cannot work with that loud racket. Look at my cake. But correction, look at the mess. All over the floor was gooey, gloppy cake mess. I have to clean this up. Oh, I right, my nerves. This is it. Baxter, said Claire. Baxter, dear, I know we are on a tight budget this year for vacation, but it is simply impossible to stay here with all this noise. Oh, Clara, I also have to work to pay for Teal, Carlos, Gatos, and Charlie's education, as class fees are so high this year. I tell you what, I know what I'll do. I will accept the Baker's apprenticeship in Rome, and then you all can come along. Uh, honey, Baxter, did you say Rome? Yes, dear Clara. Well, what are you waiting for, Baxter? Call and accept that apprenticeship in Rome now. Yes, dear, Clara said to her family. Boys! Pack your bags. Two, I'll pack yours. Family, we're going on Italian vacation. Munja, munja, munja. Oh, oh, arrivederci, Roma. Oh, my gosh. Bolo and gelato, said Kato. Bolo and gelato, said Kato. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, gelato is ice cream. Stiamamo andano in Italia. Stiamamo andiamo Italia. Andiamo Italia. Everyone was trying to practice their best Italian. Cheers, ciao! And Charlie was saying andiamo to Italy in sign language. And little Teal was copying what Charlie was doing with his hands. That's right, Charlie, you teach Teal some good things. You are the best adopted brother an octopus could ever have for my lovely octopus family. You're the best, really. Charlie. Charlie's face turned into bright spell. Invitation! Oh boy, now I can write my paper for class! Baxter said he would have to travel ahead to make arrangements for Claire and the kids could come right after by bus. Baxter, Bax, Baxter the dad, baked his big, packed all his baker's hats, spoons, rolling pins, aprons, and everything he needed to bake at the apprentice in Rome and kissed his wife Claire goodbye and took a turtle taxi to Italy. Bye everyone! Bye honey! And the kids will see you soon! Bye, Dad, said Cairo and Kato. Bye, Dad, said Charlie. Bye, everyone. The next day, Miss Baxter wrote a letter to the Ocean Conservative Committee to petition the drilling in their kingdom. The letter said, most importantly, the preservation of our coral reefs, sea creatures, and sea forests needs your urgent attention. Yes, we are forced to vacation as our due to our home due to the sound, and hopefully we will return when the drilling will cease. 
I will be bringing back lemon butter and lemon tonic from Italy for the next meeting when I return it, and I will be the host. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to sweeten the deal for them to stop this awful drilling. Oh, we have got to protect our coral reefs, the sea forests, and the sea creatures, and also my home. Yeah, my nerves are so busted. Oh, yeah, I don't even need to drink coffee. My nerves just start jitters now. Miss Baxter put the letter in the envelope and put it in her purse. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, boys, you ready? Our bus is here. A big old well bus with, was honking outside. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, boy, oh, boy, Italy, here we come. Adiamo, Italia, said Charlie with his backpack. Clara had several suitcases. These feel icky, Charlie said in confusion. Don't worry, they'll be full with Italian shoes when we return, said Clara with a big smile on her face. I can't wait to go see Luigi, who has the best Italian shoemaker in Italy. Oh, and his specialty is octopus feet. Oh, gosh. Oh, mommy, can I have Italian shoes? Said to you, sure. Oh, like those craft ones? Yeah, they're so comfortable. I want shoes, too. I want high tops, said Carol. I want high tops, said Kato. Oh, yeah. I want a cool dress. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't wait to write me report. Don't worry. They, these suitcases will be full with all kinds of gifts. I have lots to buy for everyone, especially the committee, to help us with this horrible fracking noise. We've got to turn this into an end. Girls in shopping, said Carol. I just have one suitcase, said Kato. Come on, everyone, said Clara. Hi, Henry. So the octopuses got on the top of a whale bus driver named Henry. Hello, Clara. Hello, Kato and Cairo and Jill and Charlie. Hop on board. All aboard, Edward got top of the well in little seats and seat belt. To Venice, Italy. Andiamo. Andiamo. Toop, 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 toop. Oh, yes. And so, the well Henry started the bus and headed towards the beautiful city of Italy for their vacation. And... And then they went on the trip. Mom, this is so fun going on the bus, said the little two. <laughs> she was a little baby octopus. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to get to Italy and look at all the beautiful architectures. I can't wait to see the Roman Coliseum. I can't wait to see Venice, Venice Canal, said Cato. Oh, the Venice Canals where you have these boats called gondolas. Oh, I can't wait to see the Leaning Tower of Pizza, said Cato. Oh, me too, said, said Cairo. Seal said, what's the Leaning Tower of Pizza, Pizza? Oh, is it a building made of pizza? <laughs> Charlie laughed. They all laughed. Then suddenly, um, very sneakily ahead, an evil, lurking, sneaky hammerhead shark put up a sign that said, Danger, Shark Crossing. Oh, be careful. This is a shark crossing, said Henry. Well, oh, mommy, I'm going to go party, said Tim. Party? Oh, gosh. Well, is there a potty around here? Well, there's a bathroom up ahead, said, said Henry. But be careful, this is a shark crossing. So, Teal said, no, I'm going to potty. So, then uh, Clara started to take Teal to go to her potty. Then Teal was sucked into a current and washed downstream right towards the hammerhead shark for a lunch tent. Oh, oh my gosh, my baby, my baby, screamed Clara. Charlie swam as fast as he could. Henry the well swam and started honking. Honk, honk, honk. And Charlie swam up to the hammerhead who had baby chill in his hands. You stay away from my sister or I'll hammer your blockhead. Oh, really? Said Hammy the hammerhead. Ah, you see these days. Ah, I'm going to enjoy a late night snack with a little baby octopus girl. Yum, yum, yum. Did you say she was your little sister? She doesn't look anything like you, Charlie. Last time I checked, you're a dolphin. I'm a dolphin, but that's my daughter's family. She looked up, bright eyes, as she saw the big hammerhead shark that was holding her. Uh, hi. Uh, why do you have a hammer for a head? Oh, to pound you into minced meat so I can eat you. Ah, uh ha, -huh ha, -huh ha, -huh, said, said. Hammy, the hammerhead shark. Oh, you want to eat me? Oh, you think so? Charlie swam right in front of, front of the Hammy, the hammerhead. Get back, Till. And Till grabbed her brother. Charlie, I got trapped in the current. Don't worry, I'm here. 
Oh, Hulk, Hulk, Hulk. Henry the whale splashed his tail, and the hammerhead shark twirled and rocked back and forth and couldn't go and bite Charlie, who was going to bite Charlie the dolphin. Ah, oh, Charlie! Not today, Hammy, said Henry the whale. Hammy twirled and twirled over and got swept away with a big gush of water. Next time, you won't be so lucky, Charlie, said the angry Hammy, the hammerhead shark. Oh, oh gosh, you okay, Charlie? Said Henry. Yeah, thanks for coming, Henry. I'm glad to have help. Thank you, Henry, so much for... Oh, gosh, said, swam up. Clara, thank you for saving my baby. Oh, my gosh. Henry swam back with a worried octopus mom. Oh, my baby, too. You okay? Oh, Charlie, oh, my gosh, that was a great thing to do. Thank you, Henry, for saving my kids. It's very, if it's very agreeable, let's get on our way to Venice, said Henry. Everyone on board. Honk, 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 said Henry the well as he continued the boat trip safely to Venice. Let go to Vita! Gelato! Pasta pizza! Henry the whale honked his buzz and, and cruised on up and they went to, they pulled into the beautiful Venice Plaza. Oh, Mom, I can see the gondola boat, said Kato. Me too. I can see the guys wearing this, the little hats and their striped uniforms that I've seen on the pictures. How cool! And they have poles in the water. What's a gondola boat, said the deal? That, that boat like a me that they're cruising around. Wow, it's a city with, with little canals, river canals, where they float around to go to, they, they don't take cars on there, Mommy? No, they don't need any cars, Claire. Let's go. Do you know how many, how much shopping we get to do? Do you know that they have beautiful masks and glass? They are like world famous for their glass vases. Oh, I do need a new glass vase in the house for my flowers. Hmm. Mommy, I want a mask. Ah. Yeah, I want a mask too, said Kato and Carol. Yeah, masks are really cool. They have this big Venetian ball every year. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Oh, said Charlie. I want a mask too, guys. Can I write about the mask? Oh, what's this ball? Can I write about it in my report? Yeah, they have one every year where people dress up in beautiful costumes. <laughs> are you okay? Oh, yeah, I think all the water got in my lungs from, from swimming. Oh, well, we've got to have something to drink for that little soda of yours. Oh, espresso, said Clara. Oh, let's get some espresso and, oh, some divine pasta. Oh, and shoes. Oh, I can't wait to go look at the shoes. Come on, everybody. Bye. Bye, Henry. We will see you. We will be leaving at Naples. So we'll see you in Naples. Honk, honk. I'll be there. Oh, thank you, Henry. You got us here safely. Bye. And the, come on, boys. Take my luggage and let's check in for the beautiful hotel. So Claire and her family checked into a beautiful hotel. Oh, Mom, this is so cool. I got the best bed in the world. Boing, boing, boing. Kato and Cairo and even Teal jumped in their beds with their little octopus legs. Boing, boing, boing. This is so fun. Oh, yeah. And look at this bathtub. It's huge. This is perfect. I can just be in here all day and all night. Oh, yeah. And I don't have to worry about any sharks in this bathtub. <laughs> yeah. And Charlie said, oh, this is the biggest bathtub ever. Splash, 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 splash. So I went to the bath and they put on their new outfits. And let's go to lunch and then let's go shopping, said Clara to Mom. Oh, sure, Mommy, said Little Teal. Oh, I can't wait to get things, too. So Clara took her little child, baby octopus Teal, and her two boys, Cato and Cairo, and her adopted son, Charlie the Dolphin, to go look around the beautiful city of Venice. And they saw the beautiful, big, seating where they could have coffee. Oh, wow, look at all the pigeons. Oh, here, here's some food to give the pigeons. Oh, there's pigeon dropping. Pigeon poop. Oh, my gosh, look out, look out. So the kids had to watch out for the pigeon dropping, but they had fun feeding the pigeons and looking at all the beautiful sights in Italy, and they had a beautiful, the mom had espresso, while the kids had lemonade and sparkling lemonade, and they had a delicious meal of pizza. I love pizza. This is the best pizza ever. Oh, my gosh. I love it, said Little Teal. Oh, this pizza is so rad, said Kato. Rad. Double rad. Oh, I love it, said Kato and Cairo. Me, too. Charlie said, I love pizza. I'm going to put this in my in my my homework. And they have the best pizza. Okay, let's go shopping, kids. 
So Claire led a, a nice charge to go shopping and she bought beautiful glass vases in the stores. This is awesome. Look how they make these glass vases and beautiful flower vases. Oh, this is exquisite, beautiful glass. And so Claire bought a bunch of stuff in the glass store. Then they went to a beautiful, beautiful master. Wow, look at all these masks, said Teal. Yeah, look at my mask. It has gold. Look at my mask, said Teal. It has black feathers. Look at mine. It's silver and blue. Oh, and Charlie put a mask too. Hey, this is really cool. We all got masks. And then, of course, Clara found the shoe store. Shoe store! Shoe store! I ran out of stop. And Clara had to put all of her eight octopus feet out for the guy to measure her feet. Hola, senora. Escarpi. Yeah, escarpi. Escarpi for shoe. Yes, I would like eight pairs of escarpi. Oh, I would like flats, medium highs, whatever you got. I'll take the silver one, the bronze one, the gold one. Oh, the tan one, the white one, the black one. Oh, this yellow color, this red color. Oh, look at this pink color. I'll take them all. Oh, senora, you're exquisite, long little tentacle legs will fit into these escarpi most special oh you look like the, the princess of venetia oh these shoes are so great said claire i love it i love it i love these shoes they look so great in my skinny jeans oh senora you are divine special oh this is such a special day so claire and the boys and her children had a beautiful day shopping oh mom this is the best day well tomorrow we are going gonna go to Rome and see the Colosseum. That's great. Oh, and as I walked home, oh, senora, ciao, senora, I am, oh, Luigi, yeah, and, um, oh, I'd like to take you on a beautiful trip to an island, secret island, and, um, and so that's part one, um, and you have to do part two to see what happens. I think they're gonna kill the family. Thank you for listening to part one, and thank you for being our friend, and subscribe and like. Thank you! Check out part two, Charlie the Dolphin, Roman Holidays.